I'll cycle GP, probably draw wolf cloaks. Yeah, yeah, yep, 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 yep. Hey, Rush Reckless here, and welcome to Rush to Diamond episode 15. So there's actually quite a lot we have to talk about today. For example, number one, uh, we saw this in the shop and I 100% are going to buy that. So I'm actually really happy that this showed up in the shop because we're so close to hitting level four. And one more thing I want to mention is that the other day, um, Yowling Weavers actually showed up in the, in the shop. So I purchased that immediately without even thinking twice. But I didn't have enough time to make a video on it because it was so late at night. So anyways, we do have Yowling Weavers in our collection, which I will show you guys right here. Um, Yowling Weavers is sitting here, but I was kind of thinking about it a lot and limit. I was just like thinking about it a lot. I don't think it's actually good enough to fit in our deck right now. And the reason being is that it is level one compared to the, or like level three cards over here. So instead, we're actually not going to use this yet. If this was level three, I'd be amazing. I would just so love that card so much. However, we did actually get enough copies of Potion of Growth. I believe this showed up in a humble book. So we are going to upgrade that. Um, yep, for sure. And that's going to be basically Yelling Weavers without the downside. And it also has Vitalize on top. So it is a little bit better currently. We also have 32 Fusion Stones, which I'm really happy with because we're really aiming for 70. Once we reach 70 fusion stones, ooh, a temple of life. Okay, nice. Um, once we reach 70 fusion stones, then we could. Uh, what am I thinking about saying? Oh, we can actually upgrade Wolf Cooks to level four, which is actually the main goal right now. I think right now what we're going to do is hold on to fusion stones. These cards kind of suck, but that's all right. We're going to hold on to our fusion stones, upgrade Wolf Cooks level four for next. Uh, month for next month and then we're hopefully going to hit diamond by the end of next month now that's kind of the plan right now we're sitting at three stars a gold three we might as well just hop right into a game and for our first match we have a base of 14 it is going to be swarm hopefully it isn't one of those tricky swarms this hand absolutely sucks i'm actually praying i get something useful anything useful i think miswives is the only unplayable card as far as i know uh this hand really sucks <laughs> like here yelling weavers would be better Okay, oof, dodge the bullet there, nice. Okay, we'll set down the hearth. Honestly, this play isn't that bad anymore because we have it at level three, which is kind of a beautiful thing if you think about it. Oh, that sucks. But this is still really good. What level is this? Level four? You're kidding me. Level four execute. Okay, uh, if we do this, it'll be at six strength. I, I think it is honestly the way to go. And then we can set up for a potential Mistwives play. Flameless is so good for mana 5 though, so I'm going to just cycle because Gifted is a better Rhymelings in our deck currently. Flameless on mana 5 is actually just amazing. 5 mana for 11 strength. There's really like very little cards that compete against this, but what the heck are these level 4 cards? We don't have a single level 4 in our deck yet, and that's going to be a problem. That is going to be a problem. How much is this? Plus 2, so it's going to be 4. It's going to kill him to that. Oh, it sucks, but I think we just have to flameless and hope for the best here. Flameless here, if it moves up, still kind of sucks. Still kind of sucks. Um, yeah, I mean, there's not much we can do here. I was thinking of Mistwise, so maybe you could flameless here. Maybe honestly, flameless here would have been a little bit better. I'm not so sure how it. I was like kind of thinking about it because then you can like gift it into, like flameless moves up. You can gift it up for frontline for miswives into this. Oh my goodness, what is this nonsense here? Yeah, so like, let's say I put flameless here, it would have been the same. Like, the, there would have been a unit here, anyways. It wouldn't have worked out how I planned it to, anyways. Um, miswives can come out. Miswives can come out. It kind of has to come out so bad <laughs> so bad and it's gonna also buff so bad guys i don't even know what to do anymore i think mistress has to come out and i guess we have to kill this with gifted which really sucks really sucks i hate playing against these level four cards but i mean we have to do what we have to do um after this which was a pretty solid play i think i'd rather cycle ice flakes here because frost hexers is level three so it is one stat less, but it does have a freeze effect to it. We still have frontline, surprisingly. 
I don't expect this to. I hopefully, I really don't expect this to die here. I mean, what did they run Twilight? Vets, veterans, actually okay, believe it or not, because we can actually get rid of this, and then the, the moonlit doesn't do anything. So at seven mana, you can do do do, ding ding bam or whatever you want to want to say it, <laughs> however you guys want to say it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. Yes, we will go ahead and do that. I don't think you want to actually freeze this, however. It is kind of a bad play to freeze this, but it does give you more time. I think what I'll do is I'll play this. I'll cycle GP, probably draw Wolf Cloaks. Yeah, yep, 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 yep. I just know this game too well. Uh, yeah, so Wolf Cloaks doesn't see play, so we'll just go ahead and do this. The problem with this play is that... Well, the biggest problem is that we're probably going to lose Frontline. Maybe I should have played the heart actually more aggressive the more I think about it. But then you lose into fall into traps like... Uh, wow, really? So they don't clear it, and they're playing... This is such a weird transition. You went from Moonlit Ares. What? That was probably a really bad play by the enemy. So you went from Moonlit Ares Satyrs, and then you transitioned to Knights, dropped another Moonlit Ares, which didn't do anything. And I'm completely happy with that, because now Flameless Potion can come out. How much do you guys really think they run BT, Broken Truce, or Confinement? I really don't think so. I want to play super greedy here guys don't try this at home though it is super greedy i, mean, I think uh, we're coming close to the end game some militia doesn't really see play fingers crossed fingers crossed they do run execute level four which will do okay twilight that's perfect that's it's not perfect but it's better than getting hit with confinement to be honest so happy with that mindless horde okay so here the hearth has to come out it does buff this one, which kind of is bad. Well, actually, it's okay, I guess. Um, huh. Right now, the only way I see this working out is if I top deck Mistwives, really. That's kind of what I want. I really want Mistwives. If I get Mistwives, you can go boom, boom, Mistwives. Oh my gosh, my callouts are just so good. Why am I too good at this game? Why am I so good at this game? Okay, perfect. Actually, this was misplay though. This was actually misplay. I think Mistwife should have came out as early as possible. So Gifted should have came out last. I believe that would have been more correct, but that is okay. We can also freeze this, which we probably will. They have to deal with this, right? I think at this point they're gonna execute something. Yeah, oh my gosh. I called it out right as I said it. Wow, they didn't execute this though, which I mean is actually correct. You should execute that. Harvesters is so slow. Huh, super slow card. I need a freeze. I 100% need a freeze or I'll just lose. Let me see. This is a really tough play. I don't think the hearth can seize any play. However, man, this is a hard play because I need wolf close for lethal. I regret not cycling it before, actually. I mean, at least we got a solid play here, though. Okay, well, we're going to hope for the best doing this, but... Oh, I'm actually going to do... So this is a little greedy. I think it's correct, guys. I want to maximize my Wolf Cloak's damage, so I'm actually going to trade it into here. That could be a huge misplay, though. This is uh, getting down to the wire because if they kill this, the game's kind of over. If they don't, then we kind of win the game. <laughs> well, we're going to hope for the best here. going to hope for the best here. I had to freeze here. I think this kind of deck is the type to run Herald's Him. Oh, Twilight Prowlers comes out. Oh, Vets comes out. No, we're going to lose. No. We might lose here, but Wolf Cloaks into Flameless is the play. There's really no better play than that. I can't contest this side anymore, so I think Flameless here has to be the play. And then we're gonna try and fast cycle into... Man, this hand really does suck, but I guess I'll cycle GP at this point. SM is a little bit better. Yeah, fast cycle until Mistwives. GP, at least we'll probably see more play later on. Oh, we just lose, guys. We just lose. The level four cards are too powerful. But we did honestly really good, but I don't think we're gonna win this one. I don't see us going to win this one at all. Their deck is just too strong. I don't know what to tell you guys. We played really, really well. 
uh, kind of a downer, but yeah, I'm not going to win this game the, the longer we play it out. I'll just concede right now. We need to win more games, however, so I'm going to start playing out because the season's coming to an end really soon. And I really want to get that platinum rank because last season we ended up with gold. This season we have to end with platinum and then the next season we'll end with diamond. So this hand sucks again. But this hand actually is not terrible. I'd rather play this first and then cycle Wolf Cloaks after. Wolf Cloaks really seems to be that that hard ending ending card. I really need to upgrade to four though. Last game, if I had it level four, it would have been really good considering they all had level four cards. I'm literally running level twos and threes, mostly level twos. So you guys have to, have to kind of consider um, how I'm doing right now. I'm not doing the greatest with my card levels. I also want to like fuse this. Like there's so much I want to do. Anyways, this has to be cycled. Not bad, not bad. Um, I really like this top deck, sweet top deck. And we're going to play for just blocking them, just playing for some kind of, just make space pretty much, just making space. Hopefully the buff does land here, so I have frontline flameless comes out on five. Mistwives on six would be very solid, kind of the idea. Yeah, so we're gonna attack that. It's fine. Pretty much the idea, like the whole point of that. Just to make them, force them to attack something that they don't really want to attack. Off that one. Nice. Okay, perfect. So Flameless will come out here, but Windmakers does exist. However, I think I'm still okay with that. If they Windmakers, I'm still going to have a way to get back into the game. With this kind of setup, if with everything going on, I will still have a Mistwives play after the Windmakers pushes this back down here. Mistwives can attack into this. Um, this board, I've already talked about this before, Lawless Herd is indifferent between Frost Hexers here, and I like Frost Hexers better, so I'll cycle it so that it will be drawn back in the, for the future. I don't see it really seeing much value in those kinds of turns. I'm just like looking at these cards and it's actually kind of sad, like how in the world <laughs> are my card levels that bad? That's hilarious. Um, Ice Flakes into... Mistwives has to be the play. There's no doubt in my mind. But the question is, how do you do it? So it depends how where, where you want the the windmakers to land. If I do it like this, the windmakers can hit here, and then yeah, it's bad. But this is also bad. I think it's bad no matter what, isn't it? I mean, I could also do this, which is just worse. So wow, I don't have the greatest of options here. This might be actually a little bit better. The more I see it, okay, it's fine. We're going to play assuming they don't. Assuming they don't have Windmakers, this is a solid play. If they do have Windmakers, it's actually kind of bad. But we could just straight up win anyway, so it doesn't really matter. And the reason why it's bad is because Windmakers can attack these two. Um, and then it'll, st it'll stay here. This unit is frozen. And then the Windmakers will trigger three times, which is really bad. That's a, a crazy play, but I think we just win, don't we? It's not lethal. What is lethal? <laughs> My deck is too powerful. Let's go. Let's go. That's a good game. A very fast game to grab the star back that we, we lost from the other game, which I'm really sad about. But tell, let me know, guys, in the comment section. Do you guys really think I had a chance to even win the first game? Like, I don't I don't know. I don't I don't see how I could have played any better. I wish my deck had higher levels, but other than that, there's not really much I could have done. So next game, all these players are base health 14. This time it is against Shadowfin though. Oh dang, I was looking at this board, it's so funny. I was I was like about to play Ice Flakes here because I was playing so much of the frontline brawl. So I was about to do that. Okay, cycle this, even though I don't really like cycling it so early, but it is going to have to be the play. Ice Flakes can come out just because Mistwives on 4 sounds very solid, but... Outside of that, not the greatest hand to be honest. Cycling this has to be the way to go. Maybe Gifted Lawless. Flameless needs to come out on five though. That's a for sure. Look at that. It's the level four card. No, oh! <laughs> we're getting hit by the level four cards. And it hit the, it's so sad because it's poison. This is so lame. So lame. Oh, so actually I said it would've been better with the heart there, but that's okay. There's no way I could have known that. I'm honestly just going to play for frontline. I'm going to try and play for frontline, flameless maybe. I don't know. This game's already so hard when they're playing level 4s. Oh, this is level 3. 
Oh, this is my gifted. I'm trolling. <laughs> I was get my gifted. This is probably level two. That's okay then. That's not a big deal. Flameless comes out here. We're gonna end up taking a lot of damage though, which I'm not the greatest fan of. Not the greatest fan of this. I mean, we can definitely reduce some damage if we need to, but... Wow. Wow, they're going completely aggressive with that kind of play. I'm going to just play completely aggressive myself, I think. The problem is, so Flameless doesn't really see... Oh, this is so bad. This is a little bit bad. Oh, this is a little bit bad. Oh, wait, wait. It's not actually the end of the world because Frost textures exist. Hmm, six, seven, eight. Whatever, man. This is the only way to go. The problem is my Flimless doesn't reach the base first. Their units will reach my base first, which is kind of the biggest downside here. Oh, we did draw Wolf Cloaks though. Oh my gosh. I honestly didn't expect us to draw Wolf Cloaks so soon. And that's kind of why I was worried. But with Wolf Cloaks, we could actually just straight up win. That's kind of the only way out we have right now. <laughs> I mean, we can also Frost Hexers here and survive maybe one turn, one more turn if we're lucky. Oh, uh, the game's over. The game's over. Actually, wait, it's not actually over. It's not actually over. I shouldn't say that. The game's not entirely over because we have Wolf Cloaks. Because we have Wolf Cloaks in hand, Flameless is already at their base and I can definitely freeze some stuff. So that's kind of the way it's looking. GP can go there. I think, I think I'm not even going to like worry too much i think this is the way to go but it is extremely risky guys don't do this at home i'm like half butt clenching here doing this is so bad do you guys think we draw gifted with this next top deck like if we draw sm it's bad i wasn't watching my cycles so early on Oh, it's Ice Flakes. Ice Flakes is my next draw. Okay, no, then. Well, Ice Flakes' next draw isn't even bad. Oh, wait, it was a Sam. Oh, I'm trolling. I'm trolling. Okay, this was still okay, but. Actually, this is kind of bad. <laughs> I was really hoping for the Ice Flakes, and then I can Ice Flakes here. Well, I hope for the best. This is. That's actually just so bad. Maybe I shouldn't have even SM'd. Oh, I'm so sad. I mean, I might actually lose just because of that. We might actually lose just because of that. Because we have so much units on board now. And like Ice Flakes, even Ice Flakes actually would have been probably misplay. Just holding on to a unit here. Well, I don't think they have lethal. I should have just GP'd here. I got I'm too greedy. If we lose this one, it would have been on my fault actually. And we need space. That's the problem. This unit is this unit is blocking this row and this row. I mean, this column. These are columns. And then this unit is going to block this one. So the only available space I have is here. And it really doesn't look like we're going to have a space to win. Especially after that beautiful play. We actually lost, didn't we? We actually lost. Because if we use GP, we would have had lethal. GP here, two damage, plus six. Oh my goodness. I am so bad. I'm actually so sad we lost that one because 100% we could have won. What am I doing? What am I doing? Okay, we have to at least go back to our rank. Okay, based on 13, seems like an easier game. Yeah, at least at the very minimum, we'll have to go back to our rank. This hand sucks though, because I really want Mistwife's trigger. But since I don't see Mistwife's trigger, I will cycle it first though. Mm, yeah, that sucks. I really want like a Mistwife's trigger and then I'll be so happy. But we'll settle for this for now. Um, JP potion is technically better than the heart because look, the heart would need two triggers to get four strength, whereas potion at level three already gives four strength. However, this does already technically have four strength um, as a body. So depends on the situation. If they really can't reach the hearth, I think it is probably the way to go. Probably that might be actually the way to go. Just the hearth GP for frontline flameless on five. Sounds about right. I'm so sad we lost that last game. I already knew it. I knew it. What am I doing? What am I doing? I should have honestly done the math though. Like if I was a good player, I would have done the math on 
two units surviving so wolf cloaks being six and then checking the two units strength at the top which ones i can expect to actually go into the base but you see i'm not a good player guys that's why we didn't do that okay this player clearly isn't going to want to play their card so it looks like we're going to actually get a free win it basically is free win guys um because after you do something like this kind of play and we can just cycle this i guess doesn't even matter yeah flameless on five and then it's, they're just so far behind like especially when you're playing against a rush deck if you don't if you just miss a turn like good luck <laughs> just good luck i've probably only lost i think three three to five out of my thousands of games i've played when an enemy ended their turn on their very first turn like that's a that's a very small number and it's flameless on five and then it doesn't even matter it doesn't even matter what we do i mean they're afk so so there you have it we caught the win sadly it wasn't really the best win because the player did afk but we did get the win and we're back to nowhere and it's been 20 minutes and we haven't done anything <laughs> let's at least win one game please please let's win one game okay so base out 14 once again not not my favorite opponent to face hopefully they don't have level four cards they did miss the first turn huh interesting i'm definitely going to play gifted i will play gifted cycle misswives after because i kind of am looking for ice flakes if ice flakes comes out well, actually, I'm trolling. It doesn't actually matter now that I think about it because I'm going to cycle Miss anyways. So actually, it doesn't matter at all. I'm just going to cycle this after. And if anything, I should have cycled it first, to be honest, and then just draw it back as soon as possible. Now that I think about it, that is probably the way to go. I should have probably miscycled cycled it first. What? Uh, is give two turns. It's like secret strats. I'm going to just play this on right hand side. Doesn't really matter which side, actually. And yeah, Ice Place can be cycled. But then again, it's going to be mana 6. I don't think GPCs play. If anything, like, yeah, this hand is a lot more solid. So there's the level 4 card. They're probably just running a bad deck. So it's a level 4 deck, but it's just a bad deck. Which is good for me, honestly. I'm not going to complain. And this can obviously go out. I think we're just chilling with this, this, this. Not the biggest deal. Wow, we have a beautiful... We're getting this perfect curve. Like, look at that. I love seeing this blue stuff, though, by the way. Like, this blue, blue, blue. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. My cards are so underleveled. It's a disaster. It's a disaster. <laughs> really? And they had to do me like that? Shake my head. Shake my head. All right, we'll go ahead with this one into the heart. I want to see it this side, so because I kind of want to get it out of the line of fire from that. That works as well. So that's perfect. That's perfect. This was also like interesting. You can also vitalize the second unit, and then you know it gets probably one more vitalized proc, but. Oh my goodness, this enemy is too good at the game. See, look, if I voted like that, it would have been worse, actually. So I'm kind of okay with this. Man, this enemy is too good. They missed so many turns and still making like stuff, making magic happen. Okay, um, so here, a Mistwives comes out, right? Oh, it doesn't. It's my next card. So it's my next card. That's all right. We can go ahead. This is still better. So definitely want to do something like this into this into this. So hard to say but i think this is yeah this is always correct actually and then mistwives will come out wait i'm actually trolling i'm so bad at this i'm so bad at this game i am so bad at this game how did i not see this card oh my brain <laughs> What am I doing? I literally deserve to lose at this point, to be honest. Oh my gosh. But we're still going to win. Don't worry. Well, we deserve to lose. Like, hands down, we deserve to lose. Like, 
Hundred percent. After that, they missed two turns and they're actually catching up. That's how bad I am. What am I doing? Okay. Um, make a quick mental note. Oh my gosh, that's level four. I didn't even realize. Quick mental note. Let's not play bordering units. Ami. Okay, it's an Ami deck. It's not the end of the world. What the heck? This deck is not even. Honestly, this deck's not that good. Like right here, they could have. Oh, they can't even play Ami after the Ami changes. <laughs> That's hilarious. Um, okay, let's not play Ice Flakes here. Let's not do that. If anything, Frost Hexers here can actually see more play. Cycle, I guess, works. Ooh, Frost Hexers here is actually more... It's actually better. Ooh, that kind of sucks, though. I think I'm actually down to play like this. Even though it sounds a little weird. And even looks a little weird, to be honest. But... I don't want to play bordering like that's kind of like my number one thing I don't want to do however I can actually afford to play bordering here but it wouldn't this is just bad so let's not do that I can afford to play bordering here and we'll go ahead and do that go ahead and do that the reason I wanted to vitalize this is so that they baited to attack that hearth gets more triggers I'm playing so bad though I'm playing like out of my mind like literally out of my mind. That's how bad I'm playing. And I probably will lose at the rate this is going, even though they don't even have like a good deck. So I mean, I think we'll come out here three mana. What is this? Interesting. Interesting. It buffs it too. Dang, my flint is gonna die. Man. Oh, it doesn't die. Okay, that's actually okay. I'm happy it didn't die. We can actually board clear this one. We can't clear that one. We will have to cycle uh, Lawless here, I think. Way to go. That is so beautiful. That is actually beautiful, but I'm so scared of that stupid card. Oh, Loris. Loris. Loris at level four is one, two, three, four. I believe it is eight strength. A strength can't even clear this even with the Lord's trigger here, and I will I am completely down to play the hearth here actually. Double hearth sounds really nice. Starting to make progress after the terrible misplays. They can't even play Ami. Ami is not even playable right now on this kind of board, so that's pretty solid. Wow, lasting on that. Like that's so bad. That is so bad. We spent five mana, they spent seven. They spent eleven mana actually, because they couldn't even play anything after. That's beautiful. I could also, like, there's so much you can do here, but honestly, this is a game winning play. So let's do the game winning play, right? Sounds about right. I'm gonna cycle. Wolf Cloaks is drawn, though, right? Okay, I think I know that Wolf Cloaks is drawn here, but I'm gonna do this anyways. How am I so good at this game? <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> I know Wolf Cloaks is drawn, but I'm doing it anyway just to see. I wanted to, like, really see. Um, I'm going to like get gifted here, but Loris does come out, but I think we win anyways if they Loris, so we're chilling, we're chilling, we're chilling. This doesn't even die. How do they win? There's like no way they win, right? Floods. What a jerk move. <laughs> I think we can still win though. We can still win if we have the space, but they, we probably won't. They're probably going to clear this. We won't have space. Wow, we just don't have anything, actually. I take it back. We literally have nothing. Crazy. Okay, well, we get a double buff, which is very solid. Wolf Cloaks actually has to come out. Wow, that is a problem. Not for me, but for the enemy. We will Wolf Cloaks this first and cycle after, which sucks. We have to Wolf Cloaks that, but we reset Frontline completely kind of the idea this is a decent hand this is so funny because okay i'll play this first i do value this a bit more ice flicks here and we want to not play bordering so we're gonna go ahead and play here i guess which is so bad it's like very bad but i think i think it's right that's really bad so we're actually just outvaluing them this is kind of boring game, isn't it, guys? I know it is. Yeah, Victor's comes out, but at least we 
just defend against the Loris, so I'm still happy. Tegor, level 4 by the way, guys. These are all level 4 cards. We're still winning. At least a double buff comes out first. Buffing their own, the structure itself isn't that bad either. That's fine. I wish I had freeze right now. Freeze right now would be solid. This is 6 plus 9. Doesn't see play. I think it's the hearth. There's already too many hearts. I don't really want another. This is fine. Do, do, do. How do you play it though? So many ways you can play this. I think we're just going to play for absolute value right now. So we can go ahead. We can't play. Oh, we can actually play Mist. Okay, we can play this combo first. Mistwives, Rhinelings after, I mean. And then we can buff something. If I buff this, it stays alive. Kind of want that, actually. If it stays alive to defend that, it's fine. We need to play Wolf Clicks and win. The enemy doesn't want us to win. They're just always doing something. Always doing, uh, the reason I played it in the center over here instead of like here. Actually, maybe playing this here would have been a little bit better now I think about it. But I wanted to play in center for sure so that it doesn't block our these columns. But yeah, I think playing this here would have been better. Confuse everything. The enemy really doesn't want to lose really don't want to lose they're doing everything in their power not to lose i hope this attacks into this actually maybe we can at least do some damage with wolf cloaks holy moly no oh this is so bad i have to freeze that but if i freeze that then loris comes out that's not good actually i don't have to i think it's okay what is this game what is this game i could also just wolf cloaks it Let's, but if we wolf clicks, it's only four damage. So bad. So bad, but I have to do this. Let's do this for cycle purposes. Cycle this. Attack that. Can frost. Extras that. Play this. So bad. Remember, they play lasting. Oh my goodness. This is our slow rush build. This is what happens when you play against level 3, level 4 cards, guys. It's not my fault. Oh my, and they play Siren. They have every counter. This game's gonna go on forever. This game is literally gonna go on forever, guys. Loris. Okay, nice. Oh, it's 8 strength. Holy moly. What is this person's deck? Oh, finally damage. Oh, that's okay too. At least it cleared. Something. Something is something. Man, this is so pathetic. <laughs> is this the player that runs floods? I don't think so, right? I hope not. Ooh, that's not bad. I'm actually down to do this kind of play. This kind of play isn't bad at all. They play lasting, guys. I'm kind of scared of like the lasting play here. Or even lasting there might kill us. Not really, but might. I'll play it here. Extra layer of defense. This is gonna take years to finish this game, guys. Years. And I'm actually gonna lose in the in the long run, considering they're running these legends level four. So this was the flood the gates enemy. I knew it. So we're still stuck here. There's the last things. Honestly, that's fine. I played five mana, they played seven, so that's fine. Uh, I'm saying it's fine, but it's not like good. It's just fine. Not like good fine. It's just fine. Play this, cycle this. So close. We have to just play it though. Or else we're never going to make progress at this rate. So I think we have to play it. I want to play an aggressive hearth, but I want to play SM first in case it lands here. It didn't land there, but it's okay. Aggressive the hearth on this side? Sure. Honestly, I'm so scared of dying right now. But I think this is the way to go. I need a fast cycle. Fast cycle, please. 
like Laura's here, Victor's here, it's actually doomed. Here's a confused Tagor comes out. Surprised there's no Victor's yet. Victor's can come out, clear everything, and we're gonna lose now, aren't we? This is so dumb. <laughs> so dumb. Okay. Here. 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 But then here we'll fall into traps of. It's so dumb. I need to cycle this. No, I don't. Traps of Loris. Loris comes out if I play it here. I have to play it here. I'm playing it here so bad. How do I fail to understand this? I play it here, Loris comes out, and it does deal seven. It will trigger the seven strength. So I can't even like. <laughs> oh, my head hurts. Okay, wait. This is a guaranteed frontline. Actually, this might be a guaranteed frontline play. Might be. Like I'm trying to, because they can't. They have to attack the flameless first, and then they have to attack the frost Axer, So this might guarantee. You. Grab frontline on that. Siren comes out, that's 8 damage. No, it's less, it's 5. 5 damage, so I'm at 6. Still alive. They have, to, they have 9 mana. I'm so sorry for this super long video. Oh, Loris comes out now, and I lose. It's, it's too strong. Oh, Ami comes out. I'm still alive. Wait, I could actually win, can't I? Okay, let's cycle SM. SM is the worst card here. How do I not win yet? I don't understand. We need to play so dumb. I'm gonna be at one health too. Uh, I hate this. Why does this happen to me? I'm gonna play it here. They just played victors. There's no way they have victors again. I'm thinking of lasting remains as well, guys. I'm at one health. Oh, I just realized actually. Oh, that was a misplay. I should have played Ice Flakes here. Yeah, Ice Flakes here was better. Switching these two positions way better because the Ice Flakes would survive by one. I could just lose now. I lost. I lost. I deserve to lose. If I played Ice Flakes there, I might have actually. Yeah, I probably would have lived. I'm so sad. I'm so sad. So that's going to mark off the end of this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed and see you in the next one. Hopefully to get some better games in. Peace.